Hello dear learners, welcome to my channel RTV The Learning Spot, myself T. Ramlal. Today I am going to talk about methods of multiplication. Is your child or student struggling with maths and what are the reasons among student or children struggling with maths? Just think about it. Everybody has a different understanding of maths concept. Some children may be slower at maths than others. Sometimes even if a child great at maths, he or she is not able to perform well because of anxiety. In this video, I will explore all these problems and steps taken to improve weak students or future learners. Before that, we will discuss all the possible reasons why these weak students are struggling with maths. Let's see some of the reasons why students are struggling in maths. So reasons for struggling with maths. Reason number one, inability of a child understanding or visualizing basic maths concept. It leads among the children to trouble in applying math concepts in daily life situations like calculating the cost of things or knowing time from the clock etc and second reason is that labeling student as a weak student or weak in maths it is important to understand that uh, labeling student as a weak student or weak in mathematics they may get upset and they can express negativity about the math subject but unfortunately teachers as well as parents uh, tends to this constantly instead of providing solutions to steps taken to improve uh, for uh, weak students or future learners reason number three the stress and pressure scoring high marks if a child scored low it is not entirely his or her fault. There are many factors that can affect a child grasp maths. So what I want to say is that good marks may, may be the consequence of fundamental understanding, but the fundamental understanding will not come as a consequence of good marks. Yeah, reason number four, this is the last reason, but not least root learning method unfortunately from the engage very engaged children are exposed to maths in highly root oriented method it means that the students are expected to mock up or by heart the formulas facts to solve the problems rather than the basic concepts Batti patte vidana it is very wrong method to teach the student so as a teacher we have to choose the proper learning method or learning activities to teach effectively in the classroom now i am going to talk about some kind of multiplication methods number one repeated addition method it means that a number is added repeatedly for example here two is added three times two plus two plus two we will get six this can also be written as in the form of multiplication 3 into 2 that equal also 6 so this kind of method is called repeated addition method this method is very useful for pre primary level students and grade 1 students and you can use this method to explain multiplication of first digit number and the second one is splitting method or expanded form if the children are aware of place values and this method is very useful for uh, grade 1, 2 and 3 also. And third one is grid or box method. This is similar to the above method that is splitting method or expanded form method. And the fourth one is lattice method. Later I will explain what is lattice method and how can you use this lattice method to multiply a number and the fifth one is long multiplication method generally it is a book method and this also can be called as standard algorithm method 
और स्कूल ग्रेड मेथड हाँ लेट सी वॉट इज लेटेस्ट मैथड बिफोर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट लेटेस्ट मैथड यू हैव टू नो सम काइंड ऑफ एलिमेंट्स टू टीच एनी काइंड ऑफ न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट एज ए टीचर यू हैव टू फिक्स द लर्निंग आउटकम्स और ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक हियर माई टॉपिक इज मल्टीप्लीकेशन बाई यूजिंग लेटेस्ट मैथड एंड द लर्निंग आउटकम्स एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन द पीपल विल बी एबल टू डू multiplication of 2 3 4 digit numbers by using this lattice method and students will be able to express the numbers in the form of multiplication these are the two main learning outcomes or objectives of this particular topic and the second thing very important is that to teach any kind of concept by using any method students should be aware of some kind of preconceptual understandings so here for this topic students should know about the table up to 9 to do multiplication by using this lattice method and second thing is that students should do additions on one digit numbers and the third one is the keywords so here the keywords are multiplicand multiplier product so multiplier is gunakamu multiplicand is gunijamu product is labdamu in telugu for example 3 into 2 equal to 6 here 3 is called as a multiplier gunakamu 2 is a multiplicand gunijamu and 6 is the product so multiplier into multiplier into multiplicand equal to product is the multiplication factor let's see some examples fit multiplication of Two digit number with one digit number. Fifty three into three. Fifty three is two digit number. Three is one digit number. Here fifty three is two digit number means we have to draw two columns. Three is a one digit number. It means we have to draw one row. Now draw the diagonals of the boxes. Now write the numbers to be multiplied on the top and on the right. Fifty three on the top and three. the right and now multiply the numbers on the top with the numbers on the right so for a 3 into 3 is 9 we have to write number 9 as 09 0 on the top corner and 9 the bottom and now multiply again 3 with 5 then we will get 15 answer so write one on the top and five on the down and add numbers add diagonally so first diagonal comes 9 and in the second diagonal 0 plus 5 it is 5 and 1 now write the numbers from left to bottom right that is 1 5 9 so now the multiplication of 53 into 3 comes 159 This is called lattice multiplication method. Let's see another example. Forty-five into twenty-seven. It means multiplication of two-digit number with the two-digit number. Forty-five is a two-digit number. Twenty-seven also a two-digit number. So forty-five is a two-digit number. It means we have to draw two columns. And twenty-seven also a two-digit number. That means we have to draw two rows, two columns, and two rows. and now draw the diagonals of the boxes and write the numbers to be multiplied on the top and right number 45 on the top and number 27 on the right and now multiply the numbers on the top with the numbers on the right now multiply 2 with 5 then we will get 10 and write 1 on the top and 0 on the bottom and now multiply 2 with 4 then we will get 8 8 we have to write as 08 0 on the in the top and 8 in the bottom now again multiply 7 with 5 then we will get 35 then write 3 in the top and 5 in the bottom again multiply 7 with 4 then we will get 28 2 on the top and 8 bottom now add diagonal then we will get the first diagonal number 
five and now add the diagonal second diagonal that is zero three and eight then we will get answer eleven write one on the down and carry number one to the next column next to diagonal now again add the diagonal one eight two and they carry one then we will get answer 12 write two on the here and carry the number one to the next and again add zero and one we will get one so then write the answer from left to bottom right then the answer is one two one five Let's see another example. 125 into 2. 125 is a three digit number, 2 is a one digit number. It means multiplication of three digit number with one digit number. 125 is three digit number means we have to draw three columns. And 2 is a one digit number, it means one row. And uh, draw the diagonals of the boxes. And write the numbers to be multiplied on the top and right. 125 on the top and 2 on the right and then multiply the numbers on the top row with the right row so now multiply 2 with 5 then we will get answer 10 10 should be written as 1 0 and 2 into 2 that is 4 we have to write 4 as 0 4 0 on the top and 4 on the down and again 1 into 2 that is 2 we have to write 2 as 0 to 0 on the top Two on the down and now add the diagonal numbers then we will get the answer so first diagonal is 0 and add 4 and 1 we will get 5 and then add 2 and 0 we will get 2 and the 0 is nothing but 0 and write the answer from left to top bottom then we will get the answer 250 250 so the multiplication of 125 with the 2 we will get the answer 250 so this is the lattice method by using the lattice method you can multiply any number like three digit number with two digit numbers and three digit number with four digit number any digit number you can do the multiplication by using this lattice method So friends, uh, this is all about multiplication methods part 1, the part 2, 3 and will come very soon. So kindly do subscribe, share, like and comment. Thank you.